Welcome to Today I Work On, and today I'm working on, I'm going to do this video because I've never done this before. It's on loosening a brass toilet flange on a copper pipe. So it's a three inch copper pipe, and then you have the brass flange. Now it's way too high, you see how high it is? It's about almost two inches high. My new floor is not going to be that high because this bathroom had the old school concrete, and I need to remove this flange. So I saw like a kind of a video on YouTube, it's super old. And I feel like this is going to be a fun video to do. So I'm going to show you how I take this off and then I'm going to show you how I install it. So first step is clean off all the wax on the ring. And then what we're going to do is we're going to heat it. Now don't mind my fingernails. My daughter's painted my fingernails. So that's what you do when you have kids, right? Uh, so first, again, first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up this ring slowly. We're not going to torch it and then try to take it off right away. That's not going to work. So let me start heating it up and then you're going to see what's going to happen. So you're going to take a torch, get the map torch, get a torch that you could put any which direction. And we're going to slowly just heat around the whole area. I'm not going to try to use the pry bar yet. I want the heat to set in. So let me get working on that. All right, now that's done, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let the heat work in a little bit. That's, now what I'm going to do is, if you can see right there, the flange is knocked over with a hammer a little bit. Once I heated it up, I was able to see that. This side, not so much. So I'm going to take a screwdriver while it's still hot, and I'm going to bend that back so it's easy for me to take off this flange. So let me start doing that now. Ever so slightly ease it over. You can see it's loosening up a little bit. Now, it's okay I'm, I'm bending this back because I'm going to cut about half inch to three quarters of this off anyway because I have to bring the I have to bring the uh the slanch down a little bit. So so the rest looks like as I can see I think it's pretty good. So now that the heat set in a little bit I'm gonna hit it with the torch again. And most likely you see this piece of plywood have a little scrap piece of plywood because I'm gonna start prying this flange up and this old plywood's kind of weak it's very common it's only half inch plywood this is a 60s built house and they really i feel like it's 2022 they went they go so cheap on two by fours and plywood it just kind of drives me crazy but uh that's the history in this house it's a 60s house and i'm gonna have this plywood in place once i heat it up again but now the heat's built into it a little bit so if that makes sense to you it makes sense to me so let me start heating it up more just slowly go around the flange. This is not a wash job. This, this uh, solder needs to loosen up. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what we got going on here. It is very hot, so be, you know, don't let this hit your skin. All right, it's not ready yet. So it's gonna be... All right, so it needs more heat. Let's check it again. Oh, you see it moved. Oh, I got movement. Oh, more movement. A little bit more heat and it's probably gonna do the trick. So I do see that I need to, you can see it's uh, blocked right here. So make sure that the lip is not over the flange, like it is right there. All right, I'm going to heat up a little bit more, I think it should go. You don't want to force it, you never want to force these things. There you go. See how it just popped off nice and easily? That's that's how you want it to pop off. Keep that in mind. You don't want to force it. Just nice little taps. So the first part is done. The next part of this video is going to be reinstalling it when I have the floor already done and ready to go. It's been a few weeks and I'm ready to cut this pipe. And what I did was I'm going to place the existing ring down and I'm just going to make a mark with this just piece of paper, which is right about here. And then I'm going to see how far I need to go down. So we're going to go probably right, right there. That's my mark. So that's my mark. Now I'm going to use a Dremel 
to get inside here and cut this out. So let me uh, let me start working on that. Well, we just cut off this piece of uh, copper here. Looks like a pretty even cut. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, and then we're gonna do a test fit on the uh, flange right here, and we're gonna see how it looks. What I need to do is I need to clean out this inner ring right here because there's probably still some old uh, solder in here because it's a little, it's a little tight. I just wanna exactly just go on there really well, but I think, I think that's per I'm gonna be pretty pretty. Where I cut is going to be pretty, pretty good, so let me uh, clean this up. I'm also going to use a Dremel on this. Let's test fit it. See, I, I uh, Dremel that. I still need to clean up a little bit. I just want to make sure it fits well. So let's check it out. Well, that's perfect. So I worked out really well. Now I'm going to finish cleaning this copper and brass up with the uh, Dremel, and then we're gonna solder it in. Oh, if I could get it out. <laughs> That's in there really good. Oh, wow. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll get it out. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's uh, finish cleaning this up. We are prepped and ready to go. Let me show you what it looks like before I throw some flux on everything. So we have, see, you see the brass? That's what you wanna see, and then, down there you can see I have all the copper clean out so it's like soldering a really big piece of a you know half inch pipe but instead of half inch it's three inch. Next step we're gonna flux and then uh, we're gonna set the flange down properly so we have the bolt going to the proper spot so let's start working on it. The bolt setup looks really good, so I just measured it out. It looks great. Now I'm gonna solder it up. Uh, now, same thing, we gotta build heat into it. We'll work our way around this copper. You just can't heat up the whole thing and then put the copper in. It just doesn't work that way. So this actually is a little cleaner than what the old uh, copper looked like because they bent it forward. I don't think I need to do that here. So let's start heating it up. Soldered pretty well. Uh, it's in there pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. I put in a ton of a ton of solder, so I'm gonna cool it down with some wet paper towel, and then well, uh, that's about it. So we'll we kept the video. This, this was a fun little project dealing with copper, whipping out the Dremel. You know, you don't really see this very often. So that was my cut. It was a pretty even cut, uh, and I really I really enjoyed this video. So I put a little bit of water around the ring, and it's it's watertight. The water's not going anywhere, so that means. I know this flange is good to go. If you run into a copper waste pipe with a brass flange, now you could visualize how to take care of the, the flange. So save the flange. I couldn't really find one of these flanges, so and it worked out just fine. If you like this video, please like it. If you like my channel and all my home improvement stuff and pizza reviews, please subscribe. I thank you for all the love. I truly appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm itching up to 2,000 subscribers, which to me is awesome. And I have a lot more content coming out. Things are coming down with everything, so I can really start getting into more content. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.